Hi, I'm J.D. Gunnell. And I'm Jerry Goodspeed. We're two of the gardening experts here at the USU Botanical Center in Kaysville, Utah. Today we're going to talk a little bit about fertilizers. Just some basic information. A lot of people get frustrated and confused when they go in to buy a fertilizer, wondering what they should or shouldn't buy. We're going to try to help clear that up a little bit today. First of all, let's talk about what a fertilizer is not. A fertilizer is not a food. Plants produce their own food via photosynthesis. So what these fertilizers are is just a nutrient to help along that process. They're also not a cure-all. Sometimes we think that if a plant doesn't look very good, we can just apply more fertilizer to it, and that's usually not the case. Normally there's another problem. It is simply nutrients for the plant so that it can photosynthesize and carry on its life. The first thing to consider are the numbers on the bag. These numbers represent nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium in order. Nitrogen is for top growth, phosphorus is fruit and root growth, and potassium is used for all-around vigor. Those numbers are simply a percentage of product. A 510-10 would have 5% nitrogen, 10% phosphorus, and 10% potassium, making it 25% nutrient. The rest of what's in that package is just inert ingredient, filler, a carrier, that's all it is. Now as far as how much to put down, we recommend a soil analysis. Utah State University offers soil testing. We recommend you do the testing about every three to four years to determine what your soil actually has in it and what the plants are lacking. We often get asked what's the difference between a natural or organic product and then one that's manufactured or what we call a synthetic product. Natural products or organics are derived from something that was once alive. The manufactured or synthetic that is something that we manufacture we make normally uh, through a, a petroleum product. So the next thing is how do I get that fertilizer onto the plant or to the plant so that it can take it up. Probably the most popular is a granular form. And normally how we apply the granular form to get it near the plants is through some type of a spreader. And we'll normally check the label, see what the number needs to be, and then we will simply apply it. This is a very uniform way of broadcasting the fertilizer. Another way to apply fertilizer is liquid form. They usually come ready to use, hook it to a hose and go. Another form is water soluble. And with water soluble, we measure out the appropriate amount, we put it into our water, we mix it up, and now we can water our plants. This is very typically used for house plants or plants in containers. One of the downsides to it is, since it's water soluble, the water moves very quickly, or the fertilizer moves very quickly through the soil profile. This is a slow release fertilizer. The pellets or prills are packaged in a way where the fertilizer is released over a long period of time. They're a little bit more expensive, but you have to apply them less often. Now keep in mind, we're the ones buying the package, and sometimes we like a pretty package, we don't. But the plant, all it wants is the nutrients. So keep that in mind. It's all about the nutrients for the plant. That's the important part. For more information, visit our website at garden.usu.edu.